All right, now tonight I'm going to show you real quickly how to do buffer and all its grand wonderfulness and why everybody loves buffer so much. Okay, well first off you need to set up your account and choose your social media. Now you can have Facebook personal, Facebook page, Google Plus page, not Google Plus personal. You can have LinkedIn and you can have Twitter. Okay. And you can set your schedule up to be any way that you want it to be. I've got it up to 10 times every day. For me, and here's your settings. You can do late shortening, team members, reconnect, MTQ, remove. And of course, you get analytics for everything that you've posted. Okay. Now that would be... Let's see. I get analytics for everything I've shared. Okay, content. All of these posts I did. Okay, now, once you have the Buffer app installed, which it will show you how to do that when you get set up, you can get it down here through the app stores or here. Okay, once you have it installed, it will automatically show up on your Twitter feeds and your Facebook feeds. Okay. Now, because I have my tribe mates list already made, I can go through and I can buffer what they share. And I can add it to the queue. Adding to your buffer. There you go. In case you missed it. Adding to your buffer. There you go. See how easy it is? And this is why people love buffer. Because it makes them look so savvy. But yet, they're just scheduling as they go. I'm going to buffer this one because this is a really good recipe. Okay. I love this thing. I, I'm addicted to it. It makes life so much easier. Now, I haven't figured out how to buffer from Google+. Plus. That part I have yet to figure out. Unless it's this way. Okay. Then I guess we need to... Easy almond chicken recipe. From Sherry Lynn. Add to Q. Okay, we're going to share this image and see this is Make your science lessons last off. These rentals and
kids. Add to queue. See how easy it is to share from Google Plus to Twitter to Facebook. That's how easy it is. Okay, so Buffer makes your life a lot easier to share content at a later date without having to worry about sharing it right now and overloading your fans. And see, this shows you the Q, 49 in Q. And you scroll down and you can see where we shared what we shared. Right, there you go. Okay, that is my blogging tip for you today. If you have any further questions concerning blogging or just want to ask me a question in general, feel free to email me at tidbitsofexperience at gmail.com. And I look forward to hearing from you. Thank you.